Hello, this is Dr. Mahmoud Alode, and here for Quality Assurance, uh, another topic, another interesting topic about Kano analysis. Kano analysis is one of the techniques that we use to translate the customer needs into something uh, we can uh, put it in action. Uh, so the translation of voice of the customer into something physical. Uh, if the customer wants uh, something in specific for their products, we should take care of that uh, voice of, their of the customer and translate it into a real product or a, re a real feature of a product. So what is a Kano analysis? A Kano analysis, it's a model that uh, used for product development and we need to use this to satisfy the customer. This Kano analysis model developed in 1980 by Kano, Professor Kano, he's in, in, uh, in Japan. And uh, what exactly, uh, they, there is different classification for the customer needs and Dr. Kano divided the needs into five categories. But however, we're going to focus on to the basic model so you could be able easily to apply it in, in your real life. Kano analysis, again, it's used to translate customer feedback into action, into something physical, into a feature of a, uh, in a product. Uh, Kano analysis, it is a quality, it is a quality tool. It is something that we could use it uh, hand in hand with uh, quality function deployment. We could use it as an input for the quality function deployment. What is the Kano analysis? Kano analysis, as you see, consists of the x-axis and the y-axis, and there is a middle line in between, as you see here. The middle line, uh, what uh, what we call the one-dimensional uh, one-dimensional uh, equality. Uh, the the lower here on the x-axis, you will see the satisfaction. The higher satisfaction, the more happy the customer will be. The lower the satisfaction, the more the customer will be un, unhappy. Uh, on the on the uh, y axis, you will feel the, you will see the the degree of fulfillment. How uh, ready we how we uh, fulfill the customer needs? Did we fulfill the customer needs or not? The basic needs and the must haves. We'll take an example in just a second and show you what's the difference between uh, all these sections. As you see, here is the first arrow down here. You will see that's the must be. These are the basic that you should provide your customer. If they're not exist in the product, the customer will be unhappy. And right here, the more you provide in the satisfaction area, the first on the top here, the more you provide, the more you surprise the customer, the more the customer will be happy. Uh, again, the attractive piece, uh, it's the, the aspect of a product or service that the customer does not need but would like to have it. So it would it would really nice to have it. Uh, and the basic needs, the must-have. We'll go over these uh, slides first and then we'll go, uh, uh, we'll take an example. The Kano model is used to uh, gain uh, a thorough understanding of a customer need. So we need to understand the customer. We need to use as many tools as we can in, in, in our company to be able to satisfy the customer needs. And in order to do that, we, have, we can use different tools and the several tools such as the Kano model, the quality function deployment, and other techniques that we've learned in this class. Uh, it satisfies customer needs by meeting three requirements. So as you see, there are three requirements for the customer. Any customer needs the basic needs, uh, and this is these are important for the company because they need to enter into the market. And then the second level would be the performance need, allow the company to remain in the market and gain some competitive advantages. Now, right here, satisfying excitement needs. We need the customer to be excited and happy about the product. So what we what is the benefit for our company? This would allow a company to excel to be a world class why it's uh, it's useful why we use Kano model it's useful to, because it's identify customer needs determine function requirements concept development analyze competitive products so what we do see okay w how we're doing comparing to our competitor and then we measure ourselves where we are right now and then where where our co our competitor is now and how we could reach to our competitor and this is what we call the benchmarking benchmarking is comparing yourself with other 
people, other companies in 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 the field in the market. And this would be a very good tool to improve your performance because once you understand your weakness, you could work on your weakness to improve uh, to improve these weakness and have a strength uh, and and use your strength to reach to the goal that you want to be. Kano model is can be used as an input for the quality function deployment, and it is can be used as a model uh, for the uh, voice of the customer. As we mentioned, the Kano model consists of two dimensions: the x-axis, which is the level of fulfillment, and y-axis is the level of satisfaction. Uh, so there are more details if you're interested, uh, and these are posted on D2L as well, uh, about the five categories and how Dr. Kano uh, divided these into five categories, the must-be quality, the one-dimensional quality, the uh, attractive quality, indifferent quality, and the reverse uh, quality. But however, what, what I would like to do, I would like to take an example on how we could apply the Kano model. So... Uh, let me see if I could write something here on this document. Otherwise, I will need to uh, to open another sheet here in just a second. Okay, I'm going to open uh, a PowerPoint. So I'll show you what uh, the Kano model would look like if we need to apply it in real life. Okay, so the Kano model will consist of of two axes, x, x and y. Okay, so we have. We have two X's, X and Y, and this is where the basics, this is the performance, and this is the attractive, the excitement level. Uh, if you provide the product and the feature here, the customer will be unhappy. The more you provide, the customer will be happy. Uh, so if we take an example as uh, the cell phone, as an example, as as an example. So, what would be the basic? Think about your cell phone. What would be the basic tools that you could use for the basic? The basic things that I am expecting when I buy a cell phone and subscribe for a company, I would like to see a phone uh, calling. I need to be able to call, text, uh, picture, take a picture, uh, camera. Uh, so, I'm expecting all this. Uh, these days, uh, internet, however, the uh, internet expectation was in the upper division uh, category in the excitement. Uh, what else? Uh, so these are the basics. So if I missed one of these, these are just the basics again, basics. If I could dent fulfill these needs, I'm out of the market. I have to I have to provide a cell phone a service for my for my customers to have call text be able to take a picture with a nice camera and we provide them with the internet now if we need to even uh, in, in, in uh, improve the customer satisfaction what I would say I would say I'm going to provide you with unlimited call and text I could provide you with a large storage area in your phone. I will provide you with unlimited internet. What else? I would provide you with the large or with a uh, with the battery. I'm talking about the battery here. How we could improve the battery capacity and long life long life battery a long life battery. so this is i if i provide this i the customer will be happy also what i could do i could play something with the price and say okay if you 
uh, if you buy one plan from me, I'll give you a second uh, one for free. So buy one, buy one, get one, uh, free. So these are something that I want to get some more customers. I want to make them uh, happy about my service. I want to gain a larger segment of the market by offering this. Now, for the excitement level, for the excitement level, what I would do if I am working uh, on a cell phone uh, business and I would provide, I'd like to offer uh, uh, three cameras instead of one in my phone, high resolution, high quality HD pictures. I would like to provide, um, I would like to provide unlimited storage on the cloud and I would like to uh, provide warranty lifetime warranty and I would like to provide a lifetime warranty so these kind of things that will help me to make the customer more excited say okay you know if you broke your phone keep it with you for five ten years 20 years whatever you you think you can keep it and if something happened to the to the phone i will replace it for you You will get a new one right away uh you know instead of having just one camera i'm gonna give you not one maybe three cameras uh, okay i will provide you with unlimited storage area how about this one i like this feature i would like to provide you with a self-charging self charging phone a self charging phone this is uh, this is the excitement this is where i need the customer to be excited so these are the basic things that we could talk about it and this these are the uh the, the three levels of cano model and you need to use it to hear your customer to satisfy the needs of the customer and again these are basically based on the x x and y axis the more you the the less you provide the customer will be unhappy the the more you provide the customer will be happy thank you i hope this is helpful here's an example as well that i hope will help cl clarify this concept thank you so much